Yesterday I was having a conversation with a friend and she said to me, Sylvie, oh my God, you've got to make a video about this. People need to hear what you're telling me right now. So here it is. Um, so people, people fail to understand that Hardly will people share their struggles. We live in a day and age where everybody wants to be perfect. Everybody is clamming for likes. Everybody's self-esteem is buried in how many shares their posts get or how many comments. Oh my God, this is literally a big societal cancer that is eating us up slowly but surely. So many people have forgotten the fact that our parents had to work their butt off in order to be successful. Nowadays, everything is a shiny object on social media. Everything that we see, we believe that, oh my God, yeah, it is all, it's, it's awesome, it's beautiful. No, no, it's not necessarily. Have you forgotten the saying that not all that glitters is gold? Where is that saying gone? All of a sudden, everything that glitters is gold. Everything, every shiny object is perfect. No. Never ever should we forget that the rose, although beautiful, has, has always had, still has and will always have tons. I was talking to her yesterday and I was just telling her about my journey, you know. Um, I made a post recently about my uh, keynote speech that I'll be or my presentation that I'll be making at my former university where I had my MBA in 2020 and she was just telling me um, uh, congratulations and she was saying oh my god Sylvia you're doing so great you know and I said to her yeah well perhaps my hard work is paying off perhaps all the meet the late nights Perhaps all the sacrifices, perhaps all the nightclubs I haven't been is paying out. Perhaps, just perhaps all the fun that I haven't had is paying off. Because oftentimes when we see people um, in, you know, in their success or when we perceive, actually perceive that people are successful, we think that it happened overnight. I was telling her yesterday that when I was in Cameroon, you know, unlike what people really think that it's that bad, when I was in Cameroon, I lost my job in 2012 because of some family issues. And between that time and until I got another job for, to work for an organization, I was doing multi-level marketing. I was selling forever living products. Google it right now. It's a real thing forever living products we used to call it flp i was selling those products and i was taking the money from the sales of those products to take care of myself and take care of my loved ones the people who were a direct responsibility under my wing i didn't you know wallow into self-pity or fold up into some type of depression on the contrary the first time i became depressed was in the UK when I was locked down due to COVID-19. That's the very first time I became depressed in my life. I became depressed because I wasn't working. It is real. I used to go into bushes in the Soko Palm to sell my FLP products. And I used to make about $2,000 in commissions. That's around 1 million TFA. That's a lot of money. People think that you have to work necessarily for an organization so that you can put on, you know, a white collar or a straight dress. No. No. That's not where success lies. There are people who literally... And I was telling her yesterday that so many people don't want to share their starting point so many people don't want to share their failures so many people don't want to share 
their struggles because so many people are concerned about what people will say. So many people are concerned about what people will say. So people don't want to bootstrap. People don't want to roll their sleeves and do the work. People don't want to plant. They just want to harvest. That's why many people are looking for work in organizations that other people have bootstrapped and started. So many people prefer to sit at home if they don't find a job than to bootstrap and start earning their own money. The good thing about multi-level marketing is that it gave me the possibility, gave me the chance to be my own boss. How much I wanted to make as commission depended exactly on how much time I spent out there looking for customers to buy my products. How much time I spent looking for people to be under me to sell these products so that I can get more commissions. Looking through the 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 the, the looking through the the, the, the the manuals of the of the forever living product uh, a multi-level marketing uh, uh, brand so that i can know exactly how to maximize my profit from flp people don't want to do that so many people don't that's why the number of unemployment is skyrocketing and the, the level of poverty is, is, is so, so alarming. Everybody wants the shiny object, the job, the publicity, the hype. But not, every, not everybody wants to put in the work. That's where we fall short. That's where we fall short. And I'm going to give you five things, five things to do if you want to change your life starting today. The first thing, delete the words, what will people say from your vocabulary? The second thing, do an analysis of where you are. Where are you? Who are you? Where do you want to go to? Because if you don't know these questions, you will not set the right goals for your life. Number three, listen, you have to know exactly why you want to succeed. For me, I hate when people tell me what to do. For me, I hate to even imagine that I will be a sex or a sex, a sexual toy or sexual object for any man. For me, I want to be able to do what I want to do, when I want to do it, how I want to do it, and where I want to do it. What is your why? Number four, you have to absolutely put in the work. Once you know your why, the next thing to, to do is to put in the work. Praying until tomorrow will heal you no fruit because even the Bible says that I crown efforts with success. Number five, be around the right people, the right mentor, the right friends, the right community. Very, very, very important. 